So I got a couple really nice electric glasses and I took them apart. And then one of them I put in acetone and melted them. And the second one we actually made a mold out of them so that we can fill it up with some pressed flowers to make some pretty rad glasses. So cool. sponsored by Squarespace. All right, so Electra sent me four different pairs of these glasses. So we're just gonna open them up and it came with a cute little wiper guy and really stoked on these. These are the matte ones, so they're not as glossy. And then here are the gloss ones. And so they sent me four pairs and one of them was a little bit smaller than the other ones, which is good because my head's really small. So those ones look best on me, but we're gonna use these other three. So first thing I need to figure out is how to get the hardware out. Like you see this little metal thing that runs through the entire bit of the leg there. We gotta figure out how to take that out so I can make a new one. So first thing I'm gonna do is just take the glasses apart and poke myself with the needle apparently. But I got it out, got the little screw out so we can pull off that leg. We just gotta do the same thing to the other leg. This time not poke my finger. Look how smart I am. Wow, you're, you're so smart. So just keep all the little bits somewhere safe so I don't lose them. Now we gotta pop out the lenses. I was terrified I was gonna break these. That's why I got extra ones because I figured I was gonna ruin a couple of them. But we got those lenses out and we're just gonna keep those with the other stuff. Keep your secret, keep your safe. And my first thought with getting out the hardware, the metal pieces, is that maybe if I like soaked a rag in acetone and then like loosened up the glue maybe around it or something, I could take some pliers and just yank on them, but that that just wasn't happening. I think I was just ruining that, that metal piece. So I thought, hey, what if we just soaked them in acetone? Maybe that would loosen them up a bit. So I filled up this little cup thing of acetone and then just let them sit for a little bit. And yeah, it started melting it off, but still wasn't able to get out the metal thing. So I'm like, we'll just let them sit for a little bit. Meanwhile, I have that second pair that I'm just gonna take apart. And then we're gonna use all those little bits to make the mold. My idea here is that I have this little plastic thing that could be like, put into little sections and we'd section off each of these little bits then pour the liquid silicone in there and so that silicone doesn't spill out I put some super glue in between those little dividers to seal them off. I also glued down the glasses so they wouldn't move and that kind of turned out to suck but I'll show you that later. I then just used the glue to put it on the leg and push those legs in place but it just didn't work because it got cool too quick so I had to pick it off and try that again. Uh, we're, we're doing great so then do it again for the second one and cool let's check on the acetone it looks like it is melting it more still you can't pull it out so we'll let those sit for a little bit more and why they sit here is that liquid silicone stuff it has a part a and a part b so you just mix equal parts of that a and b together i kind of just got as much out of a and b and hope that was close enough and we're just gonna mix it on up and now take the little sectioned off piece of that front of the glasses there, fill it up. I did it kind of slowly because I didn't want any air bubbles to get trapped like underneath the glasses until I ran all the way out. I also took an empty bottle and just like squoze it on there to kind of pop some of the bubbles up top and hopefully get the ones that were underneath. Then I had some spare silicone stuff that I used on my last project of that, the hollow skull thing I made. And it was just, almost enough but that's sit for some 12 hours meanwhile this was kind of working but I wanted to fully submerge it in there so it could actually melt all the way and I also got to update that Instagram I've actually been doing this kind of fun thing where I'll like tease the project that I'm working on and then on my private story I'll like show the results I mean that's how I'm looking and that's how those glasses are looking and if you want to be on my close friends list you can actually sign up on my website I know that seems weird, but I'm kind of stoked with it. So anyways, cool. That's my cat. That, that, that's my, my cat. I love, I, I love, I, I love him, okay? Big deal, I love my cat. Get out, get, get out of town. Oh, here's a, a little spoiler of what's gonna happen next. It, it hardened. That's a spoiler, why am I showing this? I, I, I feel like, stop, oh, 
Yeah. All right. So here's what I so nicely spoiled the, are the glasses melting in the acetone. This first one was probably after like eight hours. I could just kind of move my tweezers right through there on the side. But if I like picked it up from the middle, it was still kind of intact. So I thought I'd let it sit for some more. I actually left overnight. And like I said, it just completely hardened. It reminded me of like, well, it reminded me of jello, but not, but it didn't have the consistency of jello. So I put some more acetone on top of there and we're gonna let it sit for a while. Meanwhile, this is all the way completely hardened. And I actually thought of a different way to do these overnight. I'm like, I don't want to do it this way, which means I'm once again have to pick off all the hardened super glue. Then also here on the inside of the leg, it has electric, the brand of these glasses. And I wanted those to like stay engraved. So I kind of dug them out a little bit more. And then we took a bottle here and measured the size of the legs. And we're just gonna cut off the top of the bottle. And we're actually gonna use this to mold those legs. So I made sure that they would fit and work. That I could do both of them at once. And we're just gonna super glue them here to this popsicle stick. And actually, after doing that, I'm like, I don't want big globs of glue to be in the mold. So we're gonna use some super glue because that way it's just flush up against the popsicle stick. So got one of the legs on there and then I made a mess. So clean it up real quick and smush it on there. Hold it till it dries and glue it to the table. And then I took some of that liquid silicone and just put it over that part with the engraving and then blew the air on it to make sure there wasn't any air bubbles. We're gonna go ahead and stick that on to the cup and glue it down and add in that liquid silicone, just little by little making sure there's no air bubbles and here at the top I had to tape it off because I wanted it to go up and overflow overfill that's the word so I did that made sure it was overflowing or flush with the popsicle stick and then I used all the extra stuff to fill up the rest of the glasses here so checking back on this it's now gotten liquid liquid enough that I can pull out the hardware and it was interesting to me that the the letters actually didn't melt so those weren't like plastic based maybe they're actually metal it also makes me wonder what different paint will dissolve in acetone and won't hmm. maybe, maybe a future video but anyways i got all the metal pieces out and then just cleaned off this pan Ooh, that's nice and put the leg pieces back in there so they could just soak some more so with the pieces sitting there I made sure that they got nice and agitated, hopefully getting all of the plastic bits off. I took those out and replaced it with the new acetone, getting it all cleaned off. With most of it off, I just used like the little like wire brush type thing. This is used for teeth and just went into all the nitty bitty gritty bitty bit bitty bit parts. I, I That was English, but just made sure it was all clean and then all dry and tucked away somewhere safe. Now to take this out of the mold. So just broke that siding off and pulled it on out. And it was looking pretty cool. There was that big spot left over from the, the glue from when I glued it down. Hopefully that won't be a huge pain later, huh? So I just cut out the glasses and I didn't do it like close enough. So there was like a lip around the inside where the frames would be. So it made it really hard to pull out. But eventually we got it, we got it. We got it on out. Now to do the same thing to the legs. So I just ripped off the tape and the popsicle stick, cut off some of that excess there on the top of the silicone. Nice, good job cutting. And then cut off the plastic bottle. Oh, you're, you're so strong. Um, Yeah, and then just took the razor blade again and just cut along the side of the leg there. So I could hopefully pull it out and it, it was harder than I thought, but it, again, it worked much easier than the glasses or the, the, like the front of the frames. So same thing for the other leg. Boom, bada bing, bada, bada boom. Oh, I think that's uh, going to work nice to put all those pressed flowers in there. Speaking of which, here they are. Cute, cute, cute. But before we get to that, pass me as a little something to say. So you gotta get down and let me, let me be filmed. Can I see the pixel? Yeah, I'll show you once I'm all done. Deal? Okay. Deal. So, huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So, if you guys have seen any of my videos before, you know that I love Squarespace. I've been using them for the past five years or more. 
probably more. What Squarespace is, is basically a website for you to make your website and everything else that comes with that, meaning your email campaigns, your online shop, your blogs, blah, 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 all that you can get within Squarespace. What I'm doing with Squarespace right now is actually I have a members area, which I'm super stoked about. So basically what you can do is you can put content, extra content, courses, whatever you want behind a paywall. So if members want to see it, people want to see it, they have to sign up and then you can choose like if you want to do like for every month, every other month, every week, whatever the payment plan. Alongside of that, one of my favorite things is actually their email campaigns. I like the way Squarespace has their rates because it's, because you're not charged for having like a big list just for how many emails you send out. Love it. That's how I have mine set up. So the other thing I love with Squarespace is, yeah, the online shop is super easy to set up. With that members area, I actually have a secret shop that only my members can see. And so I'm like putting like free stuff in there, free merch, whatever, so people can get that. And it's so easy that if like I think about something that I want to do, like the night of, I can like upload an image and it's boom, it's there, ready to go. And that's what I'm gonna do with all the projects that I make in my future videos. They're actually gonna be up for free in my secret shop. I'm sure what I've been talking to you guys have thought of a website that you guys could make, a blog, a sh online shop, whatever it is. And the best thing is you can actually go make that for free right now. By going to the link in my description, you can start it. And then when you do decide to actually launch it, make it public, remember to use the coupon code SHMOOD to get 10% off your first purchase. So cool. We did it. So I actually picked all these flowers from my local hometown and then also where I'm living right now. So that was kind of cute. And first thing I'm gonna do is actually put in little metal pieces that are gonna connect to the legs. So I just put them in and made sure that they were in the right spot and hopefully they don't go anywhere. So I'm gonna be using this light sensitive resin along with this UV light and there you go, a respirator. I got so much shit in the comments of that last video where I used the resin and I'm the type of person that you tell me what to do, I do the opposite, spite you. But because I know that's how I am, I actually spited myself and decided that we're gonna be safe and be better at being safe. So I put a small little layer of the resin in there, checked to make sure the metal pieces were where they needed to be, and then used that light to kind of cure it a little bit. Looked like it cured, so we're gonna go ahead and start putting in the flowers. Cute, cute, cute. This was a pain because with my left hand, I had to like pry it apart, and then my right hand used those tweezers to get it as good as I could. And with it all filled up with flowers, I just used that resin and put it in until like mushed out of the seam. And I didn't want any air bubbles, so I actually just used that little part in the middle to fill it up. And then we're just going to pound it on the table, and hopefully that helps. And then we're also just going to let it sit, and hopefully that will let the red settle. So we just have to do the same thing with this one. And we have to get those hardwares in first, and make sure that they're in place. Snug in its little bug is a bug in a rug. What? 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 So the resin got all settled on there, so I added some more, and we're gonna let it sit again. I actually went to the gym. L look at that little thirst trap. Ooh, let's do it again. Um, and then I went to McDonald's, got myself a cheeseburger at Mac sauce, and shredded lettuce, and then a hot and spicy McChicken. Thank you all so very much. And we're just gonna go ahead and take off the bottom buns there and just smush it together. And there we go, we got a sandwich upgrade. So now with it sat a little bit, I'm gonna add a cute little flower and just use that UV light. And to make sure that's all the way cured, we're actually gonna go let it sit under the sun. Now to put in flowers for this next one and add in the resin, do, do, do. And mush it together until it pops out of the seam. Hopefully that makes it all filled up. And put it in the top there and use the UV light again kind of cured a little bit but the sun does most of the job and so taking this out ugh. can you see how bad that's bending I was terrified that this was gonna like completely ruin the shape of the glasses but to my surprise I mean look how bent it's like almost a 9 degree angle um no as soon as I got it out it like slowly started getting its shape back so that was cool and I guess we'll see if it works when I try to put the lens in later after I clean it all up because it still has a bunch of seam spots and some air bubble stuff. Then when it comes to the legs, they just did not cure. And I think it's because it's so thick here on the outside. So we're just going to have to try to fix that next video. So cool. All 
All right, so be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell notification. And yeah, if you want to be a schmoody pie and uh, get your name on my video here at the end, just go to my website.